To think that he laid there for a week is heartbreaking. A man trapped in his home for days. Those who knew him were worried when they didn't see him at one of his favorite spots. Good evening, I'm Mandy Noel. And I'm Dave Sess. Do you think the neighbors watch you just as close as you watch them? Neighbors looking out for each other and Fowler made a big impact on Saturday. I found out most of us don't know the impact we have on someone else until the last possible second. It's our top story tonight at 6. Delmer Lockhart was a regular at the Vienna Circle K. He'd come in, pick up a newspaper, talk for a while, and even empty the outside trash can. I've been there seven years and he, he comes every night. But Nancy McNeil and Terry McLemore noticed he hadn't been around for nearly a week. So they called a neighbor who was driving with his wife to their daughter's softball game. We decided, no, we better go back and look. And you knew that if you pulled in that driveway and his car was there, he was there. So if they had not seen him in a week, his routine was pretty solid. The mailbox was stuffed and that was the first clue. Then Bill Shreve saw Delmer's van and noticed the newspaper on the dashboard was a week old. Yes. They called law enforcement and got into the house. Delmer was laying by the door, but trapped under a horde of items. He's been there his whole life, and you know, just to know that he was laying there in pain, suffering, whatever, it shook us up. It really did. Delmer was born and raised in that house, according to neighbors, never married, served in the military, then came back and took care of his mother. As he was being carried out, Bill gave him a message. I said, Delmer, I said, the girls at Circle K were we're worried about you, he said. Tell them to mind their own damn business. Delmer is known as a bit of a loner. Boxes, papers, and other items were stacked to the ceiling. There were inklings that he might have some stuff, but nothing as bad as these photos from police. But the neighbors were just glad he was alive. Thank the Lord that he used me in that way. Um, I don't feel a hero at all. I think it's anything that anybody would do for a neighbor. And the ladies at Circle K hope they get to see him again at the store. Give him a great big old hug. Tell him that he's not allowed to scare us like that again. Delmer also hung out at Yankee Kitchen, had a strong relationship with the workers there too. Federal privacy laws prevent me from getting an update on Delmer's condition or even finding out if he's still in the hospital.